Hi guys, so today we're going to do a review of a laptop that I rate highly in the market. So this is Lenovo T460 S, as you can see there the model. This is Lenovo T460 S, and uh, this is how it looks. As usual, let's take a review of the exterior outlook first before we get into the interior components and specs. So this is how this Lenovo machine looks. This is a carbon material, it's a very strong machine. Remember Lenovo are mostly military graded machines, so they're always strong. The casing is so strong, so this is how it is. At the lower side you can see, yeah, the lower side, we usually have this port here that I get, I normally get lots of questions from it. So I'm not going to explain what this port is, but I'll leave you to answer it in the comment section. So if you are somebody who is well fast with laptops, then you can Let's give my followers comments in this comment section. So as you go about the comment section, please don't forget to subscribe to this account because I really appreciate the support you'll be giving this account up to this point. And don't forget to like the video. So fast forward, let's get to see the pots. So as you hold the machine like this, on the right hand side, we have our pots here. So we have this locking station here. Then here, right here, we have a SIM card slot as you can see. It's a SIM card slot. You have the RJ45 port here. Right here you have the USB 3.0 port. You have HDMI port. And uh, a mini or a micro HDMI port right here. Let me just show you. So right here you have it. Then you have another USB 3.0 port here. And this here you have a, a USB. Uh, okay, sorry. You have SSD slot here, right here, as you can see. And then on the left hand side, we have the charging port. So this laptop uses the USB type of a charging, of a charger. We call it the USB yellow pin charger for Lenovo. So it looks like this. And then we have another USB 3.0 port here. Sorry. And we have the ventilation port here. This is the ventilation port for cooling. Yeah. Then we have the audio jack here, which is usually crucial if you might need it in the future. Then again, we have the micro SD or the SD card from the cameras and all those uh, devices that support the normal SD card slots. So that's how the exterior outlook is, the ports. On this other side, we have nothing, but you can see how stylish and well designed it is. Right on this other side, on the lower side, you don't have anything. Uh, so that's how it is. The lower side, we talked about it. We have some nice ventilation. Now this is the intake for the airflow into the laptop. Then we have the, see right there, we have the other ventilation for outflow of air outside the laptop. So let's get to see what's inside on the keyboard side. So as usual, we have one of the best keyboards in the world. Actually, I've reviewed so many laptops, but I think none of them come close to Lenovo in terms of keyboard keyboard design. Just have a look how the keyboard is designed. You can see the way it's curved, and uh, you can see it's the springs for the keys are raised. So even if you press on them, the feel is just awesome. Yeah. Then we have this. This is a casa, emergency casa here. Instead of using the trackpad, which is also nicely designed. With that red finishing on the click pads yeah we have that emergency cursor right there so as you can see it's a koi 5 yeah an ultrabook very slim laptop not as slim as much but at least slim compared to the previous generation lenovo we have fingerprint sensor here for logging into the laptop it's a security as usual we have the lenovo thinkpad the thinkpad logo with the red icon you can see so this is a charging blink or it also lights when the laptop is on so that is how it is the top side you only have the camera and two holes for microphone as you can see so the microphones are well placed so that they can face you and take in your voice well while you're doing a video call or uh, maybe you're just recording your, your voice the power button is just placed as usual on the Lenovo ThinkPads at the right 
top right uh, corner there as you can see this is the power button this laptop i forgot to tell you that it can flex up to 180 degrees which is good because if you're using the laptop while standing then it will be easier because you'll be typing and you have the screen here so it's easier to use it while standing and uh, as you can see it can flex up to 180 degrees then again one advantage of flexing to this position is uh, if maybe you're using the laptop and then somebody happens to have flipped it harder on the surface then it will just flip 20 degrees without destroying the hinges as opposed to the other laptops that can go up to 90 degrees or 120 degrees because if they go up to 120 degrees and then someone extend it past its ability it will break the hinges yeah so that's one of the advantage of this Lenovo ThinkPad D460 machine so let's power it on we see the internal properties and other stuff that I know you're very anxious to see once again, if you have not subscribed to this account, please do so because I really appreciate your support. And uh, this is an account that we usually do these tech reviews of some of the best gadgets that you can have or future gadgets that I know at some time or some point in future you're going to purchase. So let me just power it on. We see how fast it turns on because we're going to give it some counts. Yeah, let me just bring the screen closer to the camera. So right there, I'm turning it on just count how fast it powers on so here they have turned it on one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so just 10 seconds yeah so this all depends with the types of with the type of ssd you have in your installed on your laptop either if it is a refurbished one or a new one so the quality of the ssd installed will be different so the higher the quality of the better the ssd then the faster the boot time of the laptop will be but as you can see this one has just powered on in 10 seconds which is not bad and uh, it's quite fast because that's what most of us in the modern world need so we have the laptop on and uh, we're just going to see the internal specs just before i get to the internal specs uh, we were talking about the keyboard. I have to show that the keyboard is a uh, one with the backlit. And if you want to know that your laptop has a backlit keyboard, then you check for this icon here. You see, if you have any keyboard that uh, maybe you suspect has backlit or don't have, first thing first, if you want to know your laptop has a backlit keyboard, once again, just check for this light. Either here for Lenovo, you have them on the on this uh, space bar. For the laptops, you have them here. The icons, this icon is just displayed somewhere here for the laptops for HP, for Dell, you have that icon right there. Other Dells, you have the icon right here. So you just confirm with yours. So it has a backlight keyboard, which if you want to turn on, you press on. Let me just turn it on. I think I'll see. It's on. So the backlight keyboard can be regulated because remember the backlight consumes a lot of power. So you have to at times control it if you're not using it or maybe you're using the laptop in a place that is well lit or in an outside environment. So if you click on it, first time you have the brightest light, second you have uh, more bright, then third the laptop powers off. So those are the settings you can do for the backlit keyboard. And uh, once again, Lenovo has one of the best batteries. So remember, this laptop comes with a battery that has a very long lifespan. Actually, this one, the lifespan is around six hours because it is a refurbished one. But if you get a new one, brand new one, then be assured that the laptop will last almost eight hours and above. So let's get into the specs. And uh, once again, as usual, if you are familiar to this account, if you want to see the specs of a laptop that you're buying, if you're buying them for the first place and you have access to the laptop, not over online, yeah? So just click on Control Shift, see, then Escape button. Then you'll get to the Tax Manager. So let me just show you what's happening on the screen. As you can see here, we have the Tax Manager. So at the Tax Manager, you just come, and then you click on More, so as to expand it. Then you have. So you come here to the Performance tab, yeah. Performance tab. This way you get all the properties of your laptop. So first thing first. As you can see, we have the CPU. So this laptop, the CPU is a Core 5 6th generation. You can see 6300 CPU with each CPU at 2.4 gigahertz. Yeah. 
So then you can see here we have the logical cause. It has four logical processors, yeah. See, it has two cores and four logical processors. Yeah. You can see the properties. So it has four logical processors, two cores, yeah. With each cause going going at two point four gigahertz. So that's the properties of the CPU. Let's get to the memory. So the memory tab right there. You can see the memory it's eight GB right there. So just come once again to this side. We have two point four GB in used out of the eight GB. Yeah, you can see committed two point one GB. Uh, remaining GB is here available five point five GB. And then there's another thing that you can also check here at the tax manager if to know if your laptop the RAM is upgradable or you can't upgrade the RAM because these modern machines some of them come with the RAM sold under the motherboard. So as you can see here, let me just bring it closer to you. You can see the speed is 2.3, 21.33 gigahertz for the RAM. Yeah. But now we have the slot in use. We have two slots. This laptop has two RAM slots. So out of the two RAM slots we have two of them in use. Meaning we currently have 4 GB of RAM on the one slot and then 4 GB of RAM on the other slot. So all of them are in use. So if you want to upgrade this laptop, then you'll have to remove maybe one of the 4 GBs, then insert an 8 GB or a 16 GB of RAM to one of the slots. Yeah. So that is how it is, as you can see. Then the disk, if you want to see the type of disk and everything about your laptop disk, then you come to the disk here. So at the disk tab here, you see we have an SSD here of an NVMe, it's an Intel SSD of 256 GB, okay, right here you can see, it's a 256 GB SSD. And uh, this is how it's performing at the moment, you can see, the type is SSD, see it's an SSD. So 256 GB, the amount of storage that you get to use is 239 GB. Yeah. So those are the internal properties, and remember, there's one thing I've not told you about. Despite having these good cameras here, these good microphones that are facing you, if you're using the laptop, let's say, now for webcam services or you're doing something online. So we have a very good camera. It's a 720 HD camera with a very good quality. I'm not going to use it because of uh, security purposes, but this is a very good camera and uh, it's so clear therefore you won't need to attach any extra camera on the laptop yeah so the disadvantage of this laptop and the camera section is that it doesn't have the camera start uh, the camera shutter so to block this camera you'll just have to use either a masking tape solo tape or something just to block the camera because you don't have the shutter yeah that's one of the disadvantage of the design for this laptop but apart from that I think the design is as smooth as it the battery is good keyboard is very perfect the screen quality let's just have a look at the screen quality if you want to check the screen quality or the resolution of the screen you just come to the screen they click on the display so the display tab then you come to the lower side you see here so the maximum resolution here you see is 1920 by 1080 meaning it's a full HD panel so it has, it, this is a laptop that you can use for if you're doing programming, uh, something to do with software engineering. And then those who are who majorly use the laptop for video editing, but slight video editing, not serious video editors, you can start with this laptop to do your work well. And again, remember it has very good speakers, which you're not going to test now because of the sound copyrights and other stuff. Very good speakers that are down firing. On the place right here you can see we have the speakers here and here yeah. and maybe you can you might judge that these holes are too small for the speakers but believe me the speakers are so perfect maybe you can just do some sound test here for the speakers we just that we just can just test them here so we just get to the sound test the sound so the sound here Because uh, so we have 
the speaker here the USB body manage sound really. speakers see so the speakers here you can test the speakers just so that you can get to hear the sound you can hear how good the speakers are yeah very good speakers maybe it's slow at the moment but be assured the speakers are so perfect and uh that is it with this laptop just before you leave don't forget to subscribe once again i really appreciate your support and like the video just as you've done in the previous videos and uh remember i forgot to say this is a 14 inch this is a laptop with a 14 inch display very portable light not as slim as much but portable durable and just what you want in a laptop that you can carry around and do all your stuff see you next time in another video thank you for liking the video thank you for subscribing if you're new follower thank you for coming back if you've been a follower to this account or channel see you next time in another one bingo bye